dedicate the following poem to the zits that I still get at the age of 32. How is this possible? My mama told me, if you make an ugly face for too long, it'll stick and stay that way forever. Really? That is fucking awesome. <laughs> so every night, for three months, I'd freeze my face into a demonic snarl into my mirror and run to my mirror every morning hoping for my new face. I wanted red eyes, green skin, horns and scales, but all I got was freckles like solar sunspots. A nose so sharp I could slip my wrist with a sniff and a fro that looked like Ronald McDonald or Alf got scalped. An official, <laughs> ugly redhead stepchild, I learned an important lesson. Mommy is a liar! See, I wanted to be a gargoyle, but instead I grew up with the skin of a pizza poor boy. From middle school on up, my social skills were crippled by plugged oil ducts. The only girlfriends I had in high school were blood and pus. Crusted with cysts that swelled like an untapped keg, I'd poke, prod, and puncture with safety pins and sewing needles to abort pores gone prey. Ready to birth, blow, and burst out, splattering white like an exploding cow. And if you've never seen pus shoot three feet out your face, open your mouth and I'll show you how. <laughs> I like that one, dude. Because I didn't take yearbook pictures. And every self-portrait was a race. It's hard to believe you're going to be a star when you got a constellation on your face. I wanted to refund my own reflection, like Nosferatu. Because when you're ugly and you know it, every mirror is God's middle finger aimed directly at you. I lived a decade with my body ravaged by acne vulgaris. So I've learned to live life ugly. Grin and bear it. Take my Halloween mask and wear it. Because the beautiful breeders will tell you that the ugly duckling turned into a swan. I tell you to suck a duck because you got the moral backwards, like smoking crack out of a bong. Because the beast should have never turned back into a prince. What the fuck for? He's got to snout some sexy ass fangs. He's got to switch back for some superficial chick that's like making love to a mermaid and complaining that her pussy smells like fish. So this. <laughs> There's a warning shot from the black sheep. I'm cutting off eyelids so no one can again get their beauty sleep. This is a clip lip on the face of every prom queen. This is for those who walk into any room refusing to believe that anyone is out of their league. This ain't for the flowers. This is for the weeds. We're born as God's private joke, cursed and blameless. But we're going to redefine beauty once we're famous. So grin if you a gargoyle. Holla if you hate us. Because it may be going to my grave grotesque, but we'll every fucking day. Shameless. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>